Potentiometers, also called POTS, are a type of electrical component known as a variable resistor, typically in conjunction with a knob. When the knob is turned, the rotational motion is translated into a change in resistance in the electrical circuit, which is then used to adjust the electrical signal, such as volume in an audio signal. Wearing a potentiometer is a straightforward process for anyone with basic levels of experience with electronics. Begin by identifying the three terminals on the pot. Position it so that the shaft is facing towards the ceiling and the three terminals are facing towards you. In this position, you can easily identify the terminals from left to right as one, two, and three. To make things easier, you may wish to temporarily label them to keep track of which terminal is which while working. Next, you will ground the first terminal of the pot. The most common application of a potentiometer is for volume control. In this application, Terminal 1 will provide the grounding. To do this, you will need to solder one end of the length of the wire to the terminal and solder the other end to the chassis of the electrical component. Measure the length of wire you will need to connect the terminal to a convenient location on the chassis and use a pair of wire snips to cut the wire to length. Use a soldering iron to solder the first end of the wire to terminal one and solder the other end to the component's chassis. This will ground the pot, which will allow it to be turned all the way to zero when at the minimum position. Now, you will wire the second terminal to the circuit's output. This is the potentiometer's input, so the output line from the circuit should connect to it. Solder this connection just like the previous one. Finally, wire Terminal 3 to the circuit's input, since Terminal 3 is the pot's output. Solder this wire just like the last two. Once you have wired the pot, you can test it using a voltmeter. Connect the voltmeter's leads to the input and output terminals of the pot and turn the shaft. If done correctly, the reading on the voltmeter should change as the shaft is turned. Once the pot is wired and has been tested, you can now position it as needed, such as placing it into an electrical component and attaching a knob over the potentiometer shaft. Be sure to visit galco.com to view our full selection of products and services.